We begin with two poems by Siegfried Sassoon, who was born into a wealthy Anglo-Jewish family in 1888 and lived through two world wars. He died in 1967 at the age of 79. In the early 1950s, a young man, Dennis Silk, managed to persuade him to allow himself to be taped in his library onto what he called the infernal machine. Here, Silk introduces Sassoon reading The Dugout from his original notebooks. I was just a pleasure-loving, games-playing oaf who had few profound thoughts about anything. But to hear about that war at first hand from a man of that caliber was an extraordinary piece of education. It was a piece of education I badly needed. And I think in a way it was helpful to him because he was still in 1953 having nightmares of life in the trenches. He said to me often that it had helped him to unload those things on someone who was anxious to hear about it and who was sympathetic. Why do you lie with your legs ungainly huddled and one arm bent across your sullen, cold, exhausted face? It hurts my heart to watch you, deep shadow from the candle's guttering gold. You wonder why I shake you by the shoulder. Drowsy, you mumble and sigh and turn your head. You are too young to fall asleep forever. And when you sleep, you remind me of the dead. I love the way you can hear him breathing in that. Here's another short poem recorded at the same time. For a long time, Everyone Sang was his best known work. Everyone Sang. Everyone suddenly burst out singing, and I was filled with such delight as prison birds must find in freedom, winging wildly across the white orchards and dark green fields, on, on and out of sight. Everyone's voice was suddenly lifted, and beauty came like the setting sun. My heart was shaken with tears, and horror drifted away. Oh, but every one was a bird, and the song was wordless, the singing will never be done. 